Hello everybody and welcome to our new video. Uh, when you see that you have queen, that means that king safety is important. What do you think? Which king is safer? If you see that uh, white's missing pawn on f2, then you can say that he is worse. And black has a good shutter. But in this moment, a white is a pawn up. But it is going to change in the next move. What do you think? What should black play? Black's winning immediately with one tiny combination. And that's bishop c3. Attacking queen. And if uh, white takes with pawn, then we take rook and we want the material. That's why he's going to play queen b6. Sorry that I made the wrong number before. <laughs> so that is b6. <laughs> we take, queen takes, and now we are playing with opposite color bishops and queen. That means that if we are attacking, then we are probably going to win. We can play queen c2, and as you can see, it's going to happen something bad for white. If he plays king f1, then we can simply play bishop d4, and you can see that, that it's almost made. That's why he plays king h3. After king h3, we are not going to move our bishop away because we want to attack, that's why we are going to play queen f2. He can take our bishop immediately, or take here, and then when we take, take bishop. Let's try it this way. Right now, he's protecting f1 square. That's why we need to play slowly and prepare our attack. But it doesn't have much to do. That's why we play one excellent move, g5. White needs to wait, he doesn't have any plan, so he plays queen c4, for example, and then we play another silent move, king h6, preventing any checks or anything to happen. And white can't move his queen because of queen f1. After some move, I don't know, for example, a6, we can play g4, and after king h4, queen f6. And it's checkmate. That's how you win with queen and opposite color bishop. If you want to learn more endgames and more strategic plans, then subscribe to our channel. See you soon!